Hello, hello, hello. This is Tom from Tom and Ruth Philippine Adventures. Today's video is going to be what makes you happy in your life. A lot of us are having problems right now, and I say us meaning keeping busy, keeping active, and keeping ourselves in a good spirit of mind. You know, that's the hardest thing. So today's video is about what makes you happy. Uh, what makes you happy? A friend of mine this morning, his name's Mark, and uh, he's telling me he's sending money over to the Philippines. How much should I send my girlfriend? We've done thousands of videos on that, and I said, I tell you what, just send her uh, whatever you think it's your money, but uh, you know, X amount of dollars, uh, no more than uh, because it depends on where she lives and the environment she's in. Meaning, if she's living in the city, out in the province. You know, what kind, of, what kind of lifestyle she has. But anyway, I don't want to talk about that. That's the same thing we've always talked about. We've always talked about the guy saying, I sent her too much money, she took my money. But today I want to talk about a couple of things. What makes you happy? Um, and what does, what, what gives a, a person happiness in his life? Well, for me, for me, what makes me happy is, I want to tell you, what makes me happy is, is uh, my wife and family and where I'm at. Okay. Um... If I had to change something, what would I change, and uh, and where would I, uh, you know, what would I change about it? Of course, I would change going somewhere, meaning the availability to pick up and go and do whatever you want to do when you want to do it. I'd change my internet. I'd have better internet. Than... I uh, would that make me happy? Ah, I'd separate happiness and make me happy for one day, and I'd be on something else. Uh, another thing that would make me uh, more excited is to be able to. Uh, scoot around, not necessarily, uh, I say go to uh, Hong Kong or anything like that, but uh, have availability where I could travel maybe uh, to uh, Bohol, uh, back over to Cebu, or uh, you know, back around the island somewhere. It doesn't really matter. Just things like that what makes me happy. Um, and I think that's what we have to do. We have to find what makes us happy and at least spend some time trying to do it. If you like drawing or reading or books or things like that, uh, I think you just have to focus more on that. Uh, I'm getting some, you know, people are just, people are getting tired. They're getting tired of depressed, they're, they're getting depressed, uh, sitting at home or listening to the news. Uh, it's like my friend says, all you guys in the Philippines are a bunch of talk heads. Well, okay, what's that mean? All you get on there and just vlog about anything and everything you get your hands on. I said, what's the news about? I had him on the phone. I said, what's the news about? It's the same thing. So you pick up and I took on CNN or Fox or some of the other channels, it's exactly the same that what we're doing here in the Philippines. We're just talking about stuff that's happening around us. We're talking about our environment. We're talking about people we're, we're associating with. We're talking about the wonderful country as it is. And we're actually showing you parts of the country that you normally would not be able to see. Even if you come here, we would not be able to see everything, especially the islands and some of the guys in the videos, uh, you know, especially some of the parts of different parts of uh, the communities in Luzon and Bohol and Boholun, and Oslob, and all those places like that. So, uh, but it does, it does really uh, kind of wear on you after a while. Uh, I know there's a thousand videos out there, and I know there's a thousand guys making these videos, but you know something? A lot of times, old-timers like myself, we do it for something to do. And uh, a lot of people will watch those videos because they're in the same situation. Something to do, they're bored, they have the TV on, so they have YouTube on. They have a TV and a radio and a book and have YouTube on at the same time. Or playing a game and have the TV on and watching YouTube on TV. I bought a smart box for my TV. It cost, a uh, came with a TV. A 24-inch TV came with 60 bucks. TV, box, all. Now that's a TV, internet box. It's a smart box. Basically, you just plug it into your uh, USB uh, on the TV in HDMI, you're ready to rock and roll. You can just do whatever you want to do. You can go to YouTube. You can do anything you want. It's really, really neat. It's got a remote control. And you can do anything. So I can go on there, say, a live stream. And I have a keyboard. I can attach and plug into that. And I can type 
I can do anything I want. I can uh, comment. I can do whatever on these videos. So, and I can attach it to any TV. It's not just a uh, small TV attached. And I got it in the living room playing that. And so I've been watching Netflix and things like that on my off times. Project driven guy like myself has not really done too many projects. To be honest, I'm lazy and I don't want to do them. I don't want to get out there. I don't want to get out there and do it because it is hot. Right now, it is so hot. I mean, literally this morning, that uh, right now it's about 1030. And uh, this morning at 6, it was so hot. It's hot now. Uh, I'm in the Blessing House. It's not hot in here. we got some fans going. But it's really comfortable in here now. It's comfortable in the big house because it's got air con on. But it is literally, it's, it's, we're, in, we're in the time it's hot. So we're, I'm just dealing with that. And I just, you know, I just don't have the heart. I mean, everything's basically done. The things that I'm doing is nitpicky stuff. Making a shoe rack. You know, we got a shoe rack. Shoes are already on it. So I'm finding things to do to keep me busy, to try to keep me happy uh, during this time until, I mean, all ours in school, I said, guys, on Sunday, no matter what we're doing, we may do a live stream, but we're leaving early in the morning, and we're actually going to go do what we want to do. We're going to go to the mall, we're going to go here, we're going to go there, and we're going to grab our art, we're going to go just have fun for the day. Now, is it going to be a hassle? It will be. We'll have to wear a mask, we're going to have to go through a couple checkpoints just to be able to go to, to that area. And that's fine. We'll deal with it. Whether we ride a car or ride the bus, it's the same situation. Same time, same Take cost, takes the same amount of time to do that. So we're going to do that also. Um, but today, what makes you happy? I think all of us have to find that type of happiness, um, whatever that may be. I know sometimes, like uh, Ruth and I talk about that. Ruth is happy. She's busy doing her cakes. Uh, she's busy doing, uh, she's got a little business she's doing on the side, and that's keeping her pretty busy. Um, and... Like, like she wasn't busy enough with the cakes. And she's got her flowers. So Ruth's pretty busy. I just do my thing on YouTube uh, uh, videos. As you guys know, I have another channel I do. And it's just a small little channel uh, that I do. And uh, it just, it, it, this one and that one keeps me busy enough. You know, put out a video every once in a while. I try to do a video a day on this one. But sometimes it's really hard to do it because of uh, topics and things of that nature and just life and my internet. But today I wanted to talk about that and talk about how what makes you happy in life. I was out here earlier and I had to uh, get offline. The kids wanted to talk, 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 talk. They see, they see me. Hello, hello, hello. They want attention. Hello, hello. So that's something too. If you come to the Philippines, if you are a American or a foreigner coming to the Philippines, you're going to get a lot of attention from children. Children just, they want attention, they need attention uh, all the time. And if they see me outside, they want to chit-chat, they want to talk, want to have conversation. And a lot of times the neighbors will see me out and they'll come talk and they want to talk. A lot of them want to learn English and a lot of them want to hear someone speak English. And that's a lot of it. That's, you'll have a lot of that happen. Uh, if I'm out front sitting in a chair, people will stop. Hi, how are you? You know, they want to talk, and that's fine. I, I never mind that. I would talk her anyway. So, God bless everybody. I want to thank everybody for watching our videos. Thank you so much for spending your valuable time with us. God bless everybody.